you've already heard the news when on Friday at 10 p.m. one guy who traveled to see this 22 year old singer who was performing in Orlando and he traveled with one purpose loaded a gun to see her and to kill her and he accomplished that after he came to her he talked to her for a little bit shots were fired and the girl died girl's brother pursued this gunman overpowered him and eventually the gunman turned the gun on himself and shot himself just yesterday in Orlando in, uh, in Orlando not very far a guy named Omar walks into a bar loads a semi rifle and kills 50 people at 2 o'clock in the morning and takes 320 people hostage and they till a SWAT at 5 in the morning while you were sleeping rescued them and the rest of them were admitted to the hospital first reports is 20 people were dead but when they calculated more accurately they declared that over 50 people died everywhere all the candidates are president everyone who believes in God and doesn't believe in God follows God and doesn't follow God everyone sends their prayers and their requests and we do the same for the families that are lost and for the families that are grieving but I read statistic that it's not only these two guys that killed and took lives see there's two people in this world that is those that take life and those that save life let me tell you also those that take life since January 1st till June 12th 488,000 were murdered not by a man with a semi-rifle but in the womb those you won't see on the news since January 1st till June 12th 275,000 ended their life and their life ended because of another monster terrorist called heart disease 264,000 their life was taken by another monster called cancer 156,000 people since January until June 12th were taken by tobacco 137,000 in America since January till June 12th their life was taken by a monster called obesity 112,000 by miracle errors 58,000 by stroke accidents 60,000 alcohol 44,000 34,000 by diabetes Alzheimer's disease 41,000 kidney failure 19,000 blood infection 14,000 suicide 19,000 drunk driving 15,000 and we can go down the list these people don't end up and these evils do not end up as much on the news because they become common and become part of the culture but these are the things these are the evangelists of demons these are the demonic these are the hellish evangelists that are on a mission strategically taking lives and while we don't want to take lives and while we grieve for those lives that were taken we have a higher assignment we have another assignment our assignment is not to not just take life which is a sin but our assignment is to save life which is our calling your calling is to save a life your calling is to bring people into salvation your calling is to pray out cancers your calling is to defeat problems and the demons every single day 22 veterans commit suicide every day it's no longer on the news because it's become so common but we are saviors of life you may say why every every service pray because you're either on two sides of history you're either taking lives or you're saving them and we are going to be on the side of saving lives we are going to be on the side of saving a generation and saving our city can somebody say amen and I don't want to be the person who only prays when somebody dies. I want to be a person to pray so somebody gets saved. I want to be a person that prays and fasts, not out there somebody passed away, but so somebody will get breakthrough and live for the glory of God and die in a full age when it's their time. Can somebody say amen? Church, I'm going to invite you today to join the call that Jesus gave us and that is to save lives. And I'm going to ask each one of us, unless your knees are in pain, till we get on our knees before God. 
and that we recognize our call the first prayer we are going to pray is we are going to pray that God will give us compassion I want you to bow your head before God church I know this is old school but this is our mission and our calling I want you to ask God for compassion I want you to recognize as you're on your knees right now close your eyes and I want you to recognize your calling is to save lives I want you to recognize your calling is to rescue lives you're not supposed to be on the other side you're supposed to be on the right side of God and in this first prayer I want us to pray say God I receive this calling God give me the anointing for this calling God give me the mission and compassion for this calling church let's begin to pray yes God we ask you right now that you will give us the anointing for the mission God we pray that our hearts will be soft and Holy Spirit we pray that you will pour out your love into our hearts God your supernatural love God the love that only you can give God we pray that we will not be hard hardened God we ask you that you will melt every single ice in our hearts God that every hardened heart will be softened God that you will give us the compassion for people God that you will give us the love for people God that you will give us that anointing God to reach out to people God to save lives God we pray for that special love God to be poured out by the Holy Spirit in into our hearts God we pray that our hearts will be softened by your love God we pray that we will enter that mission God mission given from you God we ask you for the compassion Lord we ask you for the love Holy Spirit that you will give us true love God true compassion for people in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name right now I want us to begin to pray I want us to pray for those no one else is praying for I want you to lift your hands before God and I want you to right now begin to cry out for those no one else is praying for I want you to pray for the babies I want you to pray for cancer patients I want you to pray addict people addicted by drugs and alcohol for those who are going into eternity without God church let's begin to pray for those no one else is praying for in Jesus name yes Holy Spirit we just raise up those people no one is praying for father those are in their deathbed those who are alone those who are addicted to drugs and alcohol to gambling to abuse Lord we intercede for them right now Lord we understand God that we can't be here right now Lord but the barriers that and distance is not a barrier between you Lord we ask you God for your miracle God to intercede for those people right now Lord those who are feel alone those who are depressed God we ask you for them to be saved Lord father we know that God you're the father of miracles Lord you have promised us salvation Lord you have promised God that you will pour out your spirit in the last days Lord we just asking God for those souls to be saved God those who are tiptoeing into eternity without you Lord we pray for those God we pray for them we fight for their lives Holy Spirit we fight for them in the spiritual well Father God give us the compassion give us the desire God the people around us the people that we don't know God whoever that you put in our hearts God that we pray for them God in their addictions in Jesus name